All right, so now instead of working with console.log, let's work with um, and with these ugly ass strings. Let's work with sexy strings, okay? The sexy string, it's something that is new in JavaScript and it's something that I really, really like but it, because it looks better than this. As you can see, in JavaScript word, you have to write the text and you cannot combine variables with the text. If we didn't want it to use so many commas, in the old JavaScript word, what we could have done would have been something like hello, and then we do plus, and then we say name, and then we do plus, and then the string again, you are, do not forget the space, let's do it without space, this is a normal mistake, you are age plus years old. And tada. Hello, Nicholas, you are 15 years old. And this wasn't sexy. Also, I want you to notice something. On, on um, JavaScript, this with double ticks is a, st is a string. And this one with single one is also a string. Okay? You just need to remember that if you open with double, you must close with double. If you open with single, you must close with single. Now, because people were bored and angry about this way of writing strings, what JavaScript came up with was backticks, which is this. Okay? It's ve they're very different. Okay? This is single, this is double, and these ones are backticks. Very, 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 very very different, okay? If you try to do what I'm about to do in something like this, it's not going to work. If you try to do what I'm about to do in this, it's not going to do, to work. Mm, okay, so now let's just write the string that we wanna have, but now because this uh, new string way is kinda awesome, what we're gonna do is just to hello, and where I need to put the variable, in this case name, I need to use it. All I have to do, I can do just motherfuck name, like this. And with the space, and I say hello, name, you are, and again this, age, again this, years old. And we run. And now it's a pretty cool string. Ta -da. Awesome. Cool or not? Awesome. Okay. Now, there is a very big difference between doing what we're doing, which is console log, and returning something. And this is something that is the very basics of computer science. Now, I want you to see something real quick here. Instead of doing console log, what I'm going to do is return. Okay? Return as in, when I pay you, you must return my change, kind of thing, okay? That is how it works, that is that what return means. So now I'm gonna create a variable here. Greet Nicholas, okay? And this variable calls say hello, all right? Nicholas and age. But before that, let me go back to console log. Okay, and let's console log greet Nicholas. All right, sweet. So here we go. Run this. H is the oh, what a retard. The first mistake of the day. Took me a long time. Okay, so look at what happens here. Look at it, it's very interesting. So we have from the line one to the line three, there is a function. This we already know, we are experts on this, so we're good. Then number five, we create a variable const greet Nicholas, okay? And we say that greet Nicholas is equals to, careful here, careful, very careful. Greet Nicholas, it's equals to the return value 
of the function say hello. Wow, that felt big. Let's do it again. Greet Nicholas is equals to the return value of the say hello function. So let's think about what happened here. What happened here is that I said greet Nicholas is equals to let's execute say hello. Of course, say hello is going to console log something, right? But then when I console log greet Nicholas, it tells me that it's undefined. It will say, yo, but that doesn't make sense. And if we repeat the sentence that I um, said before, greet Nicholas is equivalent to the return value of say hello. That means that here I am returning nothing, literally nothing. Now, what I should do if I want greet Nicholas to not be undefined is to return something. So if I return it, then Nicholas is not going to be greet Nicholas, sorry, is not going to be undefined. And I'm only going to have one console log because this say hello function is just returning something, but it's not console logging anything. If I come here and I save and I run, there should be no console log whatsoever because there is no console log whatsoever. There is no, no console log here. Okay. I will console log it. And then that will be, uh, there we go. That will be a console log. Okay. Awesome. Now let's look at the console log. Okay. Console log. Log. It's an object. All right. So now if we do, let's make an object for ourselves. So let's do math object const calculator object calculator. Okay. Awesome. Because what I want to do is what I want to do is show you how uh, this should make sense for you. Okay. I don't want anything to be like, Oh, this doesn't make sense, but I just use it. All right. Let's edit this motherfucker. But now let's look at console log. And what I would like to do will be to have something like, let me just change this here. What I would like to do will be to have something like this, basically calculator that plus just like console that log, I would like to have calculator that plus, let's say five, uh, and five. So I want to have a third 10, for example. Okay, cool. So now this means that I must create a function inside of the object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say plus that is a function. So I say function and function plus takes two arguments. As you can see here, I want it to take two arguments. So I'm going to say a and B again, this could be chicken and potato. It doesn't have to be a and B as long as you remember. And as long as you use them well, and then we're going to return a plus B. Awesome stuff. So now let's do plus and then console log plus. Let's just comment on this. Run. There you go. So there you have it. I think that by now you can see how similar they are. Console.log and calculator.plus, very, very similar. They're both objects, console and calculator. And log, it's a function that takes an argument. And plus is a function that takes two arguments. Now, to continue on these exercises for you to practice a little bit more, please finish this calculator object and send me a repo into the comments to see what's up. And what I would like you to do would be to have calculator that plus multiply divide minus and power off. Okay. So power is this, this one, of course, divide minus, and I just gave you the fucking answer. What I read 
all right but just use the math things like here okay so that's it you are becoming a js programmer you understand functions you understand objects and you can mix them both now you also understand arguments like this that is fucking great congratulations happy for you all right now you know what i will see you on the next video this one too long translators i love you with my all my heart see you on the next one bye bye